So I just reacted to a video about Jada Pinkett Smith. Before we get to this reaction, I want to add this. Do not stay in relationships that do not benefit you. Do not hold on to people that don't have any problem putting you in a negative light. Jada's lying, and I have the timeline to prove it. And I'm literally in the middle of moving. That's why I look raggedy. But I cannot handle these fucking lies anymore. Jada is currently on her pay attention to me tour. And she is making a lot of things, including that Tupac proposed to her while he was at Rikers. That's cat. Really. The math isn't mathing, so let's take a look. Tupac was convicted of sexual assault charges on February 8th, 1995. From there, he was sent to Rikers Prison, only to be transferred less than a month later to Clinton Correctional Facility. And she specifically said she went to see him. This was not on the phone. Well, when I go to see him in Rikers, probably one of the more painful parts, seeing him there, the condition that he was in, and having to leave him there. Well, cool. so... Prior to going into Rikers, Tupac already had a girlfriend named Keisha. He proposed to Keisha, her words, in a September 2011 interview. He proposed to Keisha before he even went into prison. They were already engaged. They got married in April. And in the time that he got sentenced and was taken to prison, Keisha actually moved closer to be by him and be by the prison and saw him on a near daily basis. When he asked me to get married, he was at Rikers. So you're telling me that in the three to four week window that he was at Rikers engaged to another woman who had moved closer to the prison and was there almost every day, Tupac proposed to Jada. But hey, Jeff, you might be saying to yourself, Tupac wasn't known to be a one woman man. He was, he was no angel. Fair enough. Let's see where Jada was during February of 1995, which was, as we've already established, the only time she would have been able to see Tupac at Rikers since he was only there for less than a month. You see, Jada had already met Will Smith in 1994 on the set of Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, but Will Smith was married, so nothing happened between them. But in February of 1995, Will Smith was served divorce papers by his wife. Five days later, on February 19th, Will called Jada and said, are you single? And she said, yep. Will said, we're together now. Jada said, cool. And she immediately flew to L.A. She flew. Now, unless Will has dibble dabbled in that coon, in that punani, he shouldn't have been doing that. I don't feel as though Will knew what he was getting into. So immediately that when he called her, she was in Maryland at a brand new house she bought, and she never spent a single night in her new house. That's how immediately she flew to L.A. Jada, when, in all that time, did you visit Tupac at Rikers and get this fucking proposal? Oh. And for the record, Keisha and Tupac stayed married for about 10 months. Uh -huh. They got their marriage annulled. About four or five months after Tupac was released from prison, he was bailed out by Suge Knight. Mm -hmm. It wasn't long after that that he met Kadada Jones. Kadada Jones is the daughter of legendary Quincy Jones. Mm -hmm. But it looks a little recognizable. You may know her sister, Rashida Jones, who played Karen on The Office. Mm -hmm. Kadada and Tupac were living together and engaged when Tupac was shot and killed. Kadada was the one that was there with him at the hospital the night he died. Kadada was handed hit his bloody clothes. She was the one who told him, we all love you, before he slipped into a coma and never woke up. Mm. Keisha spoke with Tupac several days before he died, because even though they, their marriage was annulled, they still remained good friends. Mm -hmm. And I can't help but notice that all of the women who are actually part of his life in a meaningful way are the ones that have just kept quiet. They've kept silent. They've kept their memories themselves mm. and not try to use a dead man as their limelight. Mm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Yo. White girl coming for your neck, Jada. She coming for your neck, Jada. Let me tell y'all something, bro. When I was in high school, I saw an interview. It was a, a Tupac documentary, and they had Jada on there talking about Tupac. And I remember thinking to myself, I said, why is she going in like this? Ain't she married to Will Smith? 
Something ain't right. Something ain't right. Now, let me tell you something. Me and my wife get together and she have an ex-boyfriend that died. You you could mourn. But that's about it. You ain't finna be talking like son coming back and give you some goddamn ghost dick. No. She be talking like she a ghostbuster. No. You not finna be talking like that. Rest in peace. The person who's squawking about him the most is making claims that can't even be verified and don't make sense from mm -hmm. the perspective of a verifiable timeline. Mm. I see why we love you. He needed a rock. Because of our friendship and because of everything we had been through together, he just wanted to feel that solidified foundation. Because so many people in that position don't have support. Right. None at all. None. You know, he and got the best. Uh, he did get the best, but not from Jada, because per Will Smith's own words, that him and Jada were pretty much humping all over the world. They were traveling constantly from the, time, the first three months they were together all over the world. So Tupac did get some great support, I imagine, from his wife, who moved closer to be with him and visited him every day. And why do I care? Because I'm Gen X, and like any good Gen X person, I grew up on Tupac. We all remember this going down. We all remember where we were when we heard that Tupac got shot or that he died. We all had this fucking hat for pulling out of justice, walking around looking like newsies, slinging newspaper about the Great Depression and FDR. And we're all just sitting here watching Jada spout these lies being like, do you think no one remembers? Because we all remember. Pepperidge Farm remembers, Jada. Who the hell is this? Who the hell is Pepper's Farm? What the hell is Pepper's Farm got to do with it? She lost me at the end, but... Son, I'm not going to lie. The way she be... She just need to shut the fuck up. I seen a video the other day um, of Will Smith celebrating the dropping of her book. He was there with her. Celebrating the, 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 the release of her book. Hey, guys. This is... The first time I'm gonna see the book. This is we're all together. I have not seen the book yet. We just got the first time. <laughs> wow, this is really beautiful. The introduction to each new section is really yeah. standing up. Yeah. So this is how I'm being born. This, this is how I'm being born. This is, I just flipped straight to this page. Really? Yeah. Will and I are in bed in a rented villa in Cobble San Lucas. It's Easy. late summer, 1997. Jaden, you flipped cool. straight yeah. to that page. I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. Will and I are in, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my God, this is when I came. This is when I showed up. There's so yes, much really cool pretty. stuff about this book. I'm yeah. so proud of you. <laughs> Thank you guys for being so supportive. Absolutely. And, you know, I know I checked out for a little while. But yeah. 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 This was. No, but I just couldn't believe myself. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Like, it ain't none of my business, to be honest with you. It ain't none of white girls' business. It ain't none of y'all business. But at the same goddamn time. At the same time, bro. I used to watch Fresh Prince of Bel-Air every day. Like, I literally felt... If you really think about it, Will Smith, Martin Lawrence, Eddie Griffin, D.L. Hughley, um, Bernie Mac. These dudes are low-key like father figures for a lot of us. You feel me? Like, we literally, like, grew up on them. So to us, at least to me, seeing Will Smith go through what he's going through with his wife right now, or his ex-wife, or his separated wife, I don't feel as though he deserved that. I don't feel as though he deserved that, to be quite honest. Will Smith is one of the greatest talents, one of the greatest African-American talents that the world has ever seen. 
He's our Langston Hughes, bro. He's our Sidney Poitier. He doesn't deserve that. He doesn't deserve this at all. I didn't think Jada was going to come out like this. I used to love her. I loved her in The Naughty Professor. I loved her in The Naughty Professor. I was like, God damn, she is fine. All right, guys, this is the video, man.